Ladies and gentlemen, we can get started now. My name is Cutie Pie and tonight I am proud to be introducing a really cute guy, but he doesn't pay any attention at all to my flirting, and sometimes I fantasize about, well, you know, about doing him from top to bottom. <laughs> but anyway, tonight I'm introducing Sufi George who we have invited here to speak to this assembly of truth seekers, and he is going to tell us about his new book called The Truth at Last which I haven't actually read even though it's a very short book. <laughs> but I'm just not into books and such, I guess you know what I am into. But anyway, tonight Sufi George will deliver his lecture on the nature of truth. And now I give you the adorable Sufi George. I appreciate being here tonight. I've been invited to speak to you about truth and to present to you the truth at last one of my books. I'll be available for book signings after this talk. That is, if any of you are still here at that time. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here tonight. But how about you? Why are you here? I have suspicions about you, you know? I think you already know the truth and you want to see if my truth agrees with your truth. If it doesn't, you're going to think I'm a raving lunatic. If my truth does agree with yours, then you will acclaim me as the genius of the century. So that's where we stand. You see, the problem with truth, your truth, is that it isn't the same as the truth of the person next to you. When you consider the people beyond this auditorium, the people in the world, there are more different truths to believe than you can even count. So the first question is, why are you so sure that your truth is right and everyone else's is wrong? I mean, what are the chances? Worse yet, everyone thinks they're right. Everyone believes something and whatever it is, that is their truth. There's a reason we think we are right and everyone else is wrong. Our truths are almost always based on faith rather than hard evidence. That makes beliefs very easy to accept, whatever they happen to be. But without hard evidence such as we get from science, beliefs are really cheap excuses for truth. Beliefs come easy but digging for truth requires some googling. <laughs> it is so easy to just accept the beliefs that are handed to us. No, musts. No fuss. And you know what? As a result, everyone is wrong, and so are you. Everyone who accepts today's ordinary common sense truth is wrong. Everyone wants to hold on to the absolute truth, but there are so many of them. But there is actually only one absolute truth, and the irony is that everyone is using that very truth to look everywhere else. That truth is the simple fact that we are aware, that we have a thing called awareness and that's how we can be aware of things. When you take away all the crap and look at awareness by itself, you see it is the power to be aware. Everything else in the universe is just stuff that passes through our awareness, giving us experience. Think about this. If we really have a soul, wouldn't we know it? What do we have that we do know? What we have long referred to as the soul is none other than our awareness. We can't experience anything without awareness. So awareness is always the ocean we are swimming in, and like fish don't see the water, we don't see awareness. The truth at last is understanding actual reality, understanding that our root of existence is awareness, that everything else comes to us from outside. And it's all somebody else's crap. Universal truth cannot be found in this crap heap. When we understand ourselves to exist fundamentally as awareness, and nothing more, we will have a truth that is unshakable, undoubtable. Getting this understanding involves learning and self-critical analysis, but these are both very good for health. I don't know what to say about my book called The Truth at Last. I haven't read it since I wrote it so I don't remember what's in it. It's not that the book is so forgettable, not at all. It's a thing with my memory. I remember that it's a quick read, though. So, do you have any questions?
Sufi George, can you make me look younger? <coughs> Sufi George, do I need liposuction? Sufi George, what's that in your pants? Thank you very much. For your excellent information, my Sufi George books are on Amazon.com.